Show no Do we have any winners? Do we have any? Yeah, huh? right, we're going to skip those. You guys aren't going to do those. You're going to do it? Yep. All right, so you're going to handle that guy? Okay. So yeah. we're, we're literally in, in here for six minutes? No, you're in here for 20, 20 to 25. Oh. Okay. Oh. Dude, you look tired. No, I'm just old. Who said that? That's what Alex said to me yesterday. Man, you look really tired. <laughs> like, Thanks, bro. Goes with, goes with the territory, buddy. Welcome back. Another Dimension, episode number seven. seven. My name is Quinn. Trask. I'm Taylor. And uh, coming at you, unscripted, unrehearsed. No notes. Off the cuff. No topic. No topic. But we do have a couple things we want to get to right away. Um, first off, got some new seats, some new decorations in the set. Taylor and Heather, thanks for getting those set up. Um, Taylor went nuts on Etsy. Chairs costed us about three hundred thousand dollars from the yeah. <laughs> from the semis we took them yeah. out of. Um, yeah, so it's looking pretty cool. Starting to actually feel like an actual awesome studio, and can't say thanks enough. Um, Got your scratch off map there. Yeah, scratch off some. Uh, we couldn't afford to scratch off tickets, so we bought a map. <laughs> scratch off some listeners. Yeah, That's, we could probably do that. Yeah, we like had Kevin. Uh, Kevin from Virginia. Was he from Virginia? Yeah, not yeah. not Texas. Um, but <laughs> hey, look. T- Taylor told us he was from Texas, so yeah. we almost shouted out a guy from the wrong state. Yeah. But um, yeah, we could maybe do that. Scratch off, like if we get a submission from a listener, that'd be pretty sure. cool. All right. Yeah. Well, um, one um, thing to talk about. One of our drivers, Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> do it again. Stuart. Stuart uh, hit his million mile mark um, for his career. And also hit all 48 states. Yeah. Uh, he was pretty pumped. Super pumped. And, uh, yeah. It was it, a machine. It was, uh, it was pretty cool to see him excited yeah. and kind of pretty special for us, too. I think he did it in s- just over seven years. I don't know. I, I know he is 30. Okay. So it's less than 12 for sure. Okay. But Awesome. Yeah. So what are we going to talk about? Let's talk about last episode, life, what's going on. Yeah. What Um, what did we do last episode? Last episode, we talked about some uh, customer issues. And... uh, Are we still having those? No, they worked out. Had a really good meeting. Um, Customer came here. With your gut puncher? With the gut puncher. Okay. And uh, he said, hey, you feel slighted and... uh, I see your point. So it went really well. Um, you know, time will tell, but I had a good feeling about it. And um, that's what you need to do. You got to work through things and, and talk about them. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise you're just mad. You're never going to know and it's going to turn toxic. And and you know what? It was an uncomfortable conversation right away. But the minute you got into it, I'm sure it was. Well, like, call a spade a spade. Yeah. You know, if, if you're upset with me, you're going to tell me and, yeah. and vice versa. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that went well. Awesome. Anything else major in the news? Uh, we got a couple trucks done. Some of the new ones are ready to go on the road. Yeah, um, they're looking sharp. Fleet's nice. starting to match, um, which is huge. Um, we, uh, got a couple spots left, I think, to fill. I believe two. Two? We got two, uh, two left. And I'm um, pretty, pretty excited about, um, we've got a, a few new guys, new drivers, and pretty excited about them. Some good experience. And uh, what does it take to be a driver here? Number one, I would think, is attitude. I mean, um, we're here to work together. And um, about a month ago, we had a driver. He was here. I I had personally known him for a long time. And um, he was only here a couple months. But he never, I guess this is just my take on it. He never really bought in. you know, we are truly here to help you. You had a conversation with one of our newer drivers yeah. uh, a couple weeks back, and and I didn't know. I don't know if he didn't know how to to take. Oh, I mean, 
not hand holding, but we're here to help. We, we want you to call. And he. Some people would probably take it as like micromanaging, I guess. I would, to, absolutely. To, to a point, but it's not that. And once you get over that hurdle, um, they start to see the value in it. We've got a guy who's been here for, I don't know, four years. And um, he, at first, he didn't like it and he thought it was micromanaging. Mm-hmm. He left. He went to a place that didn't help him at all. Set him up for failure. Set him up for failure. And he called a month later. I think it was three weeks, maybe? Right after I started. Yeah. Yeah. And um, actually, the day I started, you made me do his exit interview. Is it, did I? Yeah. It was like that week. And then we rehired him. One of the only guys we've ever rehired. One, he, yeah. Um, he left on good terms. And he called and he said, Quinn, um, I've. I see why you do what you do, and mm-hmm. I respect it, and I want it back. And it actually took a lot to hire him back. Yeah, um, it was a you, you pride guys thing. A, you guys had to talk me into it, and it's worked out well. And he's he's um, he had the second most miles last year. I mean, yeah. he, and he's a he bought in. He bought in. You know what I mean? One hundred percent bought in. The the other conversation I I spoke about that you had a couple weeks back, he. He hadn't bought in yet, too. I think it was because he just didn't understand. Now, I mean, he, he's a he's a less experienced over the road person. If yep. that, is that fair? That's fair. And he, now that he has learned to buy in, I mean, we go through his plan with him uh, with a fine-tooth comb. Hey, if you can get to this point, here's what it sets you up for tomorrow or for mm-hmm. the rest of the week. And we're not pushing you to get to that point. It's just a benchmark. It's a benchmark, and we're cause and effect. Yep. Um, if you don't make it here, that's okay, because you can still ultimately deliver on time. Mm-hmm. But knowing that if you don't make it there and you decide to take 11 hours off instead of 10, and I'm not saying it's always that tight, mm-hmm. but say you take 11 hours off, you may not get home on Friday, or you may end up sitting here because this, and now in turns you're feeling rushed and you're doing this. Now, we're not perfect at that either. No. I mean, we've made our fair share of mistakes, but we try to learn. And a lot of it comes from learning with the guys. Mm-hmm. Um, we learn we learn things from the drivers just as well as they learn them from us. Yeah. And like you said, we're here. We're a team. And as you said, we're not always right. No. Um, so I guess that is – I guess an open mind is really important to be a driver here. Um, Skill set, obviously – it's important. We want safe drivers. Yep. Uh, we've got a pretty stringent um, hiring process that we go yep. through. And then, um, you know, knowing your ability to, uh, we've got, we've got some of the best guys we do. And, but we've got a wide range of ability level yeah. with our drivers. Um, somebody might be, com- might be comfortable at 12 feet wide, but not at 15 yep. where a different drive, you know, it, it's all comfort level and ability and knowing, number one, knowing what you're comfortable with as a yep. driver and internally knowing what that driver was, driver is capable of So you doing. don't put them in a bad situation. Don't set them up to fail. Right. There's going to be times to where it's a crappy situation and there is nothing we can do to get out of it. Mm-hmm. Clutch goes out this week. We couldn't do anything about that. It happens. You know, like it's it's life. But... Helping your driver get through that situation, he shouldn't be the guy dealing with the contact of the site or the customer that's probably upset on the other end. Absolutely. That's got to come through here. And then knowing enough to take take a step back, take a deep breath, and um, as the dispatcher or the planner, whatever you may have it, mm-hmm. wherever you work, and taking a deep breath, controlling yourself, figuring out your emotion before you call that guy and don't get them all riled up. Yeah. Like That's important. I think the another thing that's important is we've talked, I mean, we've hey, talked Nettie. about communication hundreds of times, but communicating and giving as much notice as you can. You know, we're in, you know, it, it's the middle of winter. It's cold and flu season. It's COVID, whatever. Um, but we require two-week notice to, for time off. Yep. And if you need time off, you will get time off. That's absolutely bar none. Um, but calling on Wednesday and saying, hey, I'm going to go skiing next week, that's not fair to planning. Us or the company. Yeah. Calling on Wednesday saying, hey, 
we just had a death in the family is completely different. Yep. That will be a common. No problem. Yep. It doesn't matter if we got to fly you home, mm-hmm. you're home. Mm-hmm. Like, but have some respect, right? So, I mean, we scratch your back, you scratch ours. Being mm-hmm. coachable, wanting to learn, mm-hmm. respectful. Someone comes in here, guns a blazing, telling us what to do or how to do our jobs better. Probably not going to be a good fit. It, it won't be. If they come in here and say, hey, what if we did this? Still gets the same point across, but now we can talk and have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I don't mean, be our, a hothead, our, I guess. Yeah. I mean, our year-end numbers just came out. and yeah, You um, want to talk about that? So we, at the end of the year, we kind of do an earnings um, statement, if you will. Kind of shows your benefit package and your wages. For the drivers. For the Yeah, for the drivers yep. in particular. And um, we had... Guys what, over a hundred thousand dollars this year. What are, what are those earnings statements uh, entail? It, your wage and benefits. That, okay. It's your wage and benefits. So package. you're talking your your salary, your per diem, or not your salary, your hourly pay, your per diem, your four hundred one k, your health insurance, your vision, your dental, yep, um, your life insurance, yep. That's all covered by the company. Correct. And with benefits, we had some guys. We had over, some guys over a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Our fleet average, I believe, was eighty nine, eighty nine nine, something yeah. like that. And th- with an average of two to three nights home per week. 2.8, every, exactly. Every yeah. week. Every week. And that's obviously huge. that's an average. So we've got people above that and people below that. Yep. Um, but I think it goes to show that um, you can have a, a home life and be an over-the-road truck driver. Um, with Taylor and I had a conversation the other day about um, friends. I've got a lot of friends that are, are salespeople. Yep. And... They're gone for a week at a time. They leave on Sunday to be someplace on for Monday morning. Yep. Like that, you know, it just... It's kind of it's the same career. thing if you take it with the same approach. The only thing that's different from like a dispatcher to a driver... Let's let's talk about Chad for a second in that, okay. in that scenario. Yep. Chad's phone goes off from all hours of the day. I mean, mm-hmm. bless his soul. Like mm-hmm. the guy answers the phone... Every time someone calls, does Chad really ever have a day off? Probably not. Even when he is off, a night off. I mean, I don't no. think I don't think anyone in the trucking industry does per se. Mm-hmm. Um, and Chad's our, our dispatcher, planner, planner operations all, guru, yeah, trades, yeah. Um, but the only thing different than him not being in the truck is he's sleeping in his own bed. He's working just as long as everyone else. He's doing. He's probably and the other in, differences yeah. is all the guys out on the road. Are calling him at all hours of the of the day and night. Yeah. You know, it's not. Hey, just be, the, just because I'm working at two a.m. doesn't mean he has to be. Yeah. So. But it happens. It does. Um, and he and handles it like a does, champ. Does it with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> a smile and a cigarette. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I don't know. So let's recap on those points. Did we miss anything? What does it take to drive here? Open mind. Being coachable. Providing information or providing yes, like bring, if you bring, bring something value to the, to the table, knowing your abilities, respectful, believing in us, buying you know, in, buying in, which won't be hard to do once you get in the door. Mm-hmm. Taylor, what are your thoughts? What What do you think? You have to turn your mic on. Wasn't prepared for that. Um, I think you guys hit it all. I mean, just listening in on the. On the interviews that we've done this week, I think you guys do a good job of sticking to those those core values. And like Quinn always says, it's important to protect what you have, and that's how mm-hmm. you have to do that. But eventually you find the guys that do want to follow that type of philosophy, and those are the ones you, you know, the ones that you want to take advantage of and get on your team. And it it's a it's the whole package, if you, if you will. Correct. What I mean by that is customer that was sitting in my office today, he said, I have never had any concern about you being late, having damage, or not doing the job properly. Yep. That's part of our value, customer service, yep. right? Um, it's really the only thing other than our drivers that we can sell. Right. There, there is nothing else. But the else. drivers are, between drivers and, and Chad, yep. that's what makes that, what, that's the glue there. That's what makes that work. Yeah. But also... I mean, our trucks. Yep. I mean, we've got, 
I'm biased here, but we've got some pretty nice looking trucks and we set them up for, for driver ease, if you will, and driver comfort. comfort. Um, now they have, correct me if I misspeak, but they got fridges. Yep. They got places for a TV. Microwave. Microwave. Mm -hmm. Do we put the microwave in? No. No. They usually bring their own. Okay. Um, Um, But yeah, they they all come with a fridge. They got inverters. Ton of storage. Storage. S bar, or, you know, heaters, if you will, S bars, Wabastos. Um, And then a tremendous amount of boxes and heading racks. And, um, but, you know, we don't have, we don't have big fancy hoods, if you will. No. Uh, But but why not? What's our reason? For fuel efficiency. And, but we want to put, as much money in the driver's pocket as we can. The pot is only so big. And one of the ways we can pay what we pay is by fuel efficiency. We've got, you know, I, I drive a, a W900, a, a hood. I get five and a half miles at a gallon. Well, our new trucks get seven and a half. And that's two miles at a gallon over 100,000 miles in a year. It adds up, especially when fuel's going up. Yeah. So, they, like I said, it's part of the whole... The whole package. Grand scheme, I guess. You can drive a hood and look really cool going down the road. There, or there's you no, can look pretty cool and yeah. make a lot of money. There's there's no doubt about th- doubt about it that a 379 or a W9, they look cool. They're, they're mm-hmm. fancy cars. Mm-hmm. But shiny things cost money. They do. Shiny things cost money. Mm-hmm. And we want nice equipment. We have nice equipment. Our trucks are... The top newest of years. Mm -hmm. But it's important that we, as a company, make sure that we're giving back as well. And we do a damn good job of that. Mm -hmm. You you said to me the other day, you know, Tress, since you started here, your family bought a new house. And you kind of feel prideful in that. Like you kind of helped, like as as the owner. That's that's awesome. I mean, there's numerous other things. Sean has bought a new truck. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is part of the There's reason. A lot of why. new trucks sitting out there right now. There are. I think all the guys have a brand new truck. Keith, Matt, you know. Yeah. But like those little things matter to us, just as much as they matter to the person that's happening. Um, and that's why we do the things we do. It's not because we. In reality, the trucks we drive cost more than the W nine sitting out in the yard anyway. But and they're they're <laughs> set up a ton better. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could get a brand new W nine. I don't know the numbers right now. I haven't looked. Um, we just, it's all part of the, yeah. it's all part of the grand scheme. Yeah. What's the grand scheme? We don't know where we're going, but we'll get there. We'll get there. But, you know, That's what your it's a work says. in progress. Yeah. Did we shut out Nettie yet? No. No. Go for it. Hi, Nettie. Is he our number one fan? Probably. That or us. <laughs> I don't know. This will get, this will get posted and Matt will start asking questions. I think Matt's one of the first guys to listen to it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all the guys. I mean, thank you. Um, Keith, Matt. The guys that we know that yeah. listen. Yes. Yeah, Sh- J- Sean. Sean. John. Stuart. I don't know if he, listens, he listens, but um, I'm sure he does. Hopefully we're giving you some sort of entertainment yeah. going on the road. Gordy. Um, but if it weren't for those guys. We probably wouldn't be Busting doing their backs. Um, you know, it, again, it takes everybody. Yeah. But those guys, we're... In my, I, I'm a driver, right? Yeah. In my mind, I'm a driver, and I, you know, I hope our guys see that or think, believe, see that we're a driver-oriented company because that's that's the reason we're here. Yeah, um, that's so. the reason why we get up in the morning. Yeah. Uh, so, so what do we have left? We've got to answer last week's question and, yeah. and announce uh, the winner. What college did? Uh Bill Stofus go to school at? Correct. The answer was UW Oshkosh. And the winner was Carolina Flash. Carolina Flash. Shout out to Carolina, uh, one of our fans who actually is from Oklahoma. Um, but uh, get us your address and we'll get you some um, apparel. Apparel. Make sure to take a picture, share it for us. Yeah. Be sweet. Um, this week's question What are we doing? Let's, uh, we'll just reference this episode. Yeah, fair. And the question's going to be. Which one of our drivers um, just surpassed a million miles for his career? Awesome. That's that. That's perfect for me. I uh-huh. remember. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. It was a fun episode. Um, see you next week. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning into this week's episode of Another Dimension. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. 
Um, Spotify and Apple Podcasts is what really helps us in terms of you guys listening and sharing. So thank you to everybody who has left a, left us a review, uh, has shared it with friends, family, people in the trucking industry. Uh, we really appreciate everything you guys are doing for us to help us grow this. So thank you again, and uh, hope everyone has a great week, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>